I'm so dumb. I'm wandering around like, no, this isn't the spot where I use the disc. What the hell am I thinking? Like, it's not until later. Like, this is level 14. Like, this is a door here. I gotta bypass it. And I'm like, all right. I can always, like, use, like, a thing to destroy it. Uh, I've got, like, Skulk Injectors, which normally give you Burrowing Claws, but I've got Icy Vapor on my hands that can't be unequipped, and I'm like, alright, how else would I get past the wall if I'm not going to destroy it? Like, well, I got Shade Oil Injectors, those are kind of risky, because uh, I might end up phasing back into existence while I'm in the wall, and that would end up killing me, and I'm like, phasing. 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 Duh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't understand how, how, why I needed, why I had to break that one down off camera. I don't. It's a good thing I ended up fucking recording though, because that was, oh, obtuse. <laughs> the fucking point of it. Good, and I didn't die. Risky. So, meet your boy Phase Spider here. Uh, Phase Spider is phased. Um, you can interact with the Phase Spider when you too become phased. Your primary method of doing that would be to step into that web. Uh, it says average hostile, but being trapped in the web is pretty damn dangerous. I do not recommend. I would prefer not to showcase that. What we're going to be showcasing is heading down to the next floor. And before I do that, I will take an injector. I can only run one injector. It is going to be a Skulk injector, I do believe. Last for a long time. It's going to give us extra movement speed uh, for this chilly underground area, as well as plus three agility. Uh, we can also see in the dark, eight. And, uh, the Burrowing Claws, again, as I noted, uh, we won't be getting. Can't remove the Icy Vapor. But the world will look different for us as I head down to this next floor. Now, um... This run could get real interesting real fast. I'm going to sprint now, and I am going to stay in the middle here. There the Sky Bear is. Currently sealed up. Frozen. Cryostasis. But could end up being released. And not by my design. The Vibro Kopesh is like the Vibro Sword we encountered earlier that bypasses armor. And, um... Well, Sky Bear has a jetpack, and uh, distance is a suggestion. Let's put it like that. Uh, I would be, uh, if the Sky Bear were to be released, or if I were to want to intentionally fight uh, him, I would just flail frantically with my axes and hope to dismember that damn arm, wielding the Vibro Kopesh. Otherwise, I'm probably dead. That's the truth of the matter. That's... That's the incident that could lead to the Sky Bear being released. And, uh... I'm not liking this, but it doesn't look like there's anything there, so that's good. I was already open. There is a juicing cannibal here, sprinting, who has a missile launcher equipped. Yeah. So uh, it's a good thing that missed, right? Would have gotten that in the face. And uh, I need to angle myself so that the missiles, if you know they go wide, don't hit the Sky Bear and break him free. Because that is not anything that Grimmeth wants in his life. No, no. No, no. Good. Situation resolved. We did it. 
what else you have down here? Base Spider. The Empress Phi. I believe that's the only enemy down here, that the Juicing Cannibal with the Missile Launcher. Nothing there, and then the Frozen Rhinox. Tough. Down here at the end, we have the control switch as well as the chrome platform. Uh, how do I activate the switch? Use space? There we go. Silly Grimoth. <laughs> Forgetting that- oh, it's, it's so rare that the use key is pressed there. Good, showing off the elevator, right? Good, we can, we can just leave the Sky Bear behind. I, uh, will have to give serious consideration. That, uh, that turned out pretty well, though. Once I figured out how to defeat the wall <laughs> with the door, the security door up there. I'm like, phase? Should I phase? I guess I could use this injector and hopefully it doesn't- Oh, there's fucking phasing vibes here! Anyway, yeah. Missile launcher waiting for you. Very rude. We didn't get struck by it, though. Which is nice, because I don't enjoy eating high-explosive missiles directly to the face. We got 20 dodge value. And here's the Mechanimus compound, which we'll, uh... We'll use. Or we'll interact with. Uh, the Mechanimus are friendly towards us. Which is good. It's a good thing we met that legendary person who ate that Eater's Nectar Injector that I didn't take from him. Uh, in time, even though those legendary Mechanimus can have powerful injectors like that. But it's okay because we got that sweet bread anyway. Good thing we met them. Uh, prevented me from having to sacrifice artifacts to get a friendly reputation with the Mechanimus. Or at least a positive enough one that they welcome me. Let's trade what you got. Live and drink. Let's trade what you got. Live and drink. How you doing? Nothing. Live and drink. The world is going to look weird for a while. Just due to... The skulk injector. But if there was a time to use that skulk injector, I was sure it was there, and I don't think I made the wrong choice. Hopefully these folks are alright with me wandering around here. I think they will be. Pretty sure they will be. Cyberneticist, friendly. It's hard for me to differentiate, like, <laughs> those here hounds. Like a little, like, sleeping quarters area. Like a barracks. How's it going, folks? Paladin. All the trade leather boots. A Taco Suprema. Good stuff. Think you all are just paladins? Yeah. I'm gonna have to use the look command. Ah. Fair rod. Mm, just a Kim, so. You have no verses to sell us written down in any holy text, no scriptures. It's possible I may be able to loot these chests, even though it may say that they don't belong to me, but I just don't... I don't feel like tempting that. Even though so many of these other enemies are showing up as trivial, I just don't feel like fighting the Mechanimus. I thought there was someone special down here, though, to have a conversation with. why I was looking. Here we go. Got the Warden of the Sanctum. Crystal Dagger. Defensive Stance. Defend the Holy Rock from Interlopers and the High Priest. He who dons the Chrome Mantle is as one with his fathers. Aided by the Pudus Templar for telling my fucking joke. <laughs> Two overloaded laser pistols. Kim cells. Bequeathments. Here's our special people. Another warden of the sanctum. There's a Batel. Let's trade. 
Live and drink. Don't walk away from me. Trade. Well, the trade that Sphinx told injector, but I'm good. As the flaming sun warms the empty void, so the rock warms us. Let's have ourselves a good old water ritual. Buddhist Templar and Water Barons aren't too cool about that. I don't remember how we're doing with this in this playthrough, and the Mechanimists are alright with that. We could learn proselytize, we could invite the High Priest to join us. Uh, let's share some secrets. Share a secret. I don't feel like getting any of these other things, though. Yeah, live and drink. If we ever find another secret, we could come all the way back down here to get some more reputation of the Mechanimist or learn secrets. That's not that big of a deal. Uh, if we want, if I really care about reputation with them, I can just chuck artifacts down the well. Which doesn't mean, like, pulling the pins off grenades. <laughs> uh, we're looking good. Westlock. Let's infiltrate the Mechanimus compound, engage the Betel, and decode the signal. Have a chat. Insert the disc. And gain a level. Ta-da! That's four mutation points! Oh boy! Let's buy Tinker 1. We can choose a schematic to learn for Freezies. Oh, let's make that an EMP grenade mark 3. Got the activated ability recharge. So that we can recharge things on our own instead of relying on vendors. Let us learn! Great. We have the grenades now, the technology. We can construct them. The resonance grenade is ours. Now, uh, worst case scenario, I would have gotten like a level, came back with like resonance grenades to blow my way through like the wall and the door up, up top. We're up above us. Man. Our EMP grenade recipe that we got for freezies. And we can deal with the, the robots. Control switch. What could it mean? We'll leave it alone. We got what we came for, and we can recoil on out of here, thanks to our positive relationship with uh, the cannabis, which has gotten even better after that water ritual. They're perfectly alright with me. The convalescence? That's fresh water. I love fresh water! I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart. <laughs> A trash field. The uh the skulk injector is probably ruining the, the aesthetic of this area for some of you. Makes you feel better, it's ruining the aesthetic for me too. May we just have a look, explore around, see the paladins, witness the sights, cyberneticist down here. Live and drink, friend. Live and drink. Oh. Well, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Someone tried to hit me with a confusion. That's upsetting, and uh, they got confused themselves. Whatever. We're out of here, though. I'm done. Slow walk.
No, I can always come back. Phase through the wall again. And have the phasing expire while I'm in the wall and it kill me. Sounds like a great way to end the run. Let's, uh, let's plug along with the quest line. Got a bear, uh, will have to be waiting here for us, no choice. Keep that in mind. Keep it in mind. It's an opportunity. Let's get out of here. I guess. Alright, Grimoth, don't accidentally disassemble the booster bot's face. As a matter of fact, we can take that off. And put on the face. <laughs> really hurts our relationship with robots. Not that they really liked us anyway. The Buddhist Templar also despise us. After uh, our befriending of uh, Mechanimus. It's good stuff. Good stuff. And we might as well wear Dirty Nolworm Skull. That gets us up to Ego 16, everyone. Uh, the, you can see our temperature is worse. And you can also see that for whatever peculiar reason, these artifacts, maybe these artifacts stop being identified automatically due to the telemetric visor. That must be what it is. Like, I knew what they were because I had the visor on. All right, that explains it. That makes that makes sense now, why I came into the start of the session. Like, why the fuck are so many of my things unidentified? Uh, the visor was giving it to me automatically. And then I promptly forget the moment the visor's taken off because... reasons. Don't think about it too hard. Okay. You are transported. Yo. What's up? I have succeeded. Have the disc. 6,000 XP. Arathroom needs you for an undertaking of great importance. You must journey to Stoopkid's place far to the north. There the spindle stretches from earth to sky. Unfortunately, a troublesome merchant from the consortium of Phytar, Fita has relocated there and declared itself the Earl. We need you to broker a deal so that we may lease control of the spindle. Failing that, you'll need to dispose of the self-appointed Earl. Be careful on your approach, journey friend. So far east into the reaches of Cluck Cud, the Buddha's Templar lie in wait. But who the fuck are they? Order of knights who claim descendancy from the Eaters. The ancient folk who wrought the Chrome Halls. While they despise all mutants, they harbor a special malice for Barathrum. What is the purpose of this? That's not exactly the attitude you should have towards me. Uh, if if I stop existing, you cease to exist as well. Remember that. Yeah, I'll secure it, maybe. I might get around to it. Sure, sounds great. No guarantees, though. Alright. Travel to Almond Porch, secure the spindle, return to Great Gig. Great. Ba do 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 there's nothing new that I wanted to buy here. Like, the, your inventory didn't reset since the start of the session. There's gonna be nothing I want. Look at those prices, though. Having 16 ego. What a time to be alive. Live and drink, friend. Yes, our frozen missile launcher. So damn cold. Hope you folks enjoyed Bethesda Susa. Hope you and folks enjoyed the world as seen through a skulk injector. Lager crisp, flawless crystal mace. Live and drink, tanker. I uh 
Seems like an alright time to end the session. Allow me to uh, gather my bearings, since I'm derping around wondering how the hell I use elevators and get through walls by phasing and still thinking about that sky bear. Gives me an opportunity to adjust my equipment, think about uh, heading for the porch. Yeah, good stuff. I might uh, hit up Java, see what kind of discs Argive has to sell. Maybe look towards uh, modifying some of my gear. Masterwork allows uh, weaponry to score critical hits twice as often. And uh, boy oh boy do I have an arsenal here of axes that uh, could certainly use that. We got Masterwork. More critical hits? Mm. We certainly do have the components. We don't have the nanomaterials, admittedly. I only have one, so uh, we have. It'd be easier for us to get the photonics from uh, all those biotic beds and chairs. Scope, master bow, master work. We'll give it some thought, like I said. And by we, I mean me. I'll give it some thought. Uh, next time, I don't know whether we'll wander around the map or actually head towards Zaman Porch. I haven't decided. Or, uh, maybe. Maybe. <sighs> that fucking Sky Bear. Oh, one more thing before I go. Wouldn't want to put this off. We do have four mutation points, and while we could be upgrading our multiple arms to get an extra 2% chance to have each extra arm to deliver an additional melee attack, which, uh, you know, investing in that track could certainly make us more potent, and uh, outright investing into Mental Mirror, because we're not going to have great ego, so that we can rebound more mental attacks could be... What about a random mutation? Could be anything. Could be incredible disappointment, the sweet taste of bitterness. Could be great stuff. Could be regeneration, multiple legs. I wouldn't mind seeing two heads, even though that's a relatively cheap one. Uh... Yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff that I'd look at and go, that'd be great. Not something like Kendall. That's... The ape fur wouldn't be too bad. Are you sure you want to spend 4 MP to buy a new... Hmm. You know, I've been squatting on these points. Maybe I'll just ask you folks directly for feedback. What do you think? Should we invest in multiple arms, the safe path? You know, invest in that. Do better at fighting and folks in melee. Maybe points in mental mirror. I'll have to compensate for having a negative ego again once I take off my ego boosters. Or should we take a spin on the wheel? What do you think? Let me know. We'll break it out here. That would be like a, not like a cliffhanger. I don't know. Is there a place that you'd be interested in seeing? Somewhere that you would be alright with, like, Tutorial Man adventuring to? Yeah, I'll write that down. So you, uh, give me some ideas. And our cud sandbox we're playing in. So we'll see where the road takes us. Take care, everyone. Talk to you later.